It's time to celebrate. Congratulations to Dakota Libo and Jack Margolin for winning and probably more importantly, claiming the prize for the 100 subscriber giveaway. They each picked a different box, which I've already shipped out to them, but that happily leaves me with two different boxes. A Dark Sylveon box and a Lance's Charizard box. I think this calls for our very first box battle. Let's see which box has the better cards between Sylveon and Charizard, and you can let me know in the comments which one you think won. We'll start by looking at the Dark Sylveon box and looking at everything inside. As soon as I get this open, we can get a closer look at this promo card and jumbo card. So, which one do you think will have the better cards? I think it'll be a bit of a toss-up since they're pretty similar boxes, all things considered. Now, inside, and I didn't realize, we have, like, a little information pamphlet. That's pretty cool. It gives a little history on Dark Pokemon. We'll set that back in the box, and open this up to get a better look at the Jumbo card and Promo card. So here is our beautiful looking Promo card. And then we have our Jumbo card. Now, I like Disarming Voice because I think any attack that can inflict some kind of status on your opponent is really useful because it delays them if they fail their coin tosses, of course. Tricky Ribbon sounds like it can be annoying too since it takes a card out of their hand, but there's probably some luck involved in that. Setting this aside though, we can get to our packs. We should have four Celebrations boosters, and it looks like we also have a Battle Styles pack. And back in this corner, we have a Darkness Ablaze pack. So we'll take all of this and set this aside on the left, and then clear out some space for Charizard's turn. Looks like we also have a code card hidden in there, which is really nice. So we can take these cards into the pretty currently broken PTCG Live. We will set everything aside. It's not going in there, but we'll still set it aside. No problem. And get to Charizard. We'll open this guy up. And Charizard has different moves compared to Sylveon. I know they're obscured right now, but I did take a look ahead. And Charizard only has one attack instead of two. But, I think Charizard's attack is kind of a little bit better. Before I talk about why, we've got something about Owner's Pokémon. This is really cool that they've included these little information... I guess pamphlets? Little... giant information cards? I don't know. They're neat. But, so is this promo card. And our Jumbo card as well is really cool looking. Flamethrower doing 200 damage to me is way better than Tricky Ribbon because I'd rather do the damage outright than have something completely reliant on a little bit less damage and luck. But regardless, we'll take all of our packs out of here and get them aside on the right side for our pack battle. We've got four Celebrations, an Evolving Skies, and a Fusion Strike. So we'll set these to the right and then we'll try to clean up the mess from Charizard. Now, this code card is actually behind our promo Charizard card, so it's interesting that the boxes are laid out a little bit differently. We'll take everything, and like with Sylveon, toss it aside. Now, let's see. Let's pit these two against each other, but before that, we'll take our Darkness Ablaze and Fusion Strike. I'm gonna do things a little bit differently, I know some people like to do all of one box and then the other, but I'm actually going to take one from each and kind of put them head to head one after the other. So we'll start with our Darkness Ablaze from Sylveon. And then after this, we'll take our Fusion Strike from Charizard and see what Charizard can respond with. I know it's a little bit different, so let me know in the comments what you think of it. As usual, We'll take our four from the back and move them on forward. 
Now, I should remind you guys that code cards do spoil, so I need to be more careful about that. That's part of reminding myself as well as, as you guys. But I don't have to remind anyone about energy. Yellhorn. Flaffy. Carnivine. Passimian. Fletchling. Wimpod. Grimer. Clink. A reverse hollow rookity and Butterfree V! What a cool card! I really like the design on that. It's just it's simple but really good at the same time. So I'm actually gonna put a sleeve on this and set it aside. That's definitely a point for Sylveon, but maybe Charizard has a good response. We'll grab our fusion strike and see how the Charizard box starts out. Now, like I said, I'm going to be a little bit more aware of the code card. So that way, I don't spoil anything. Or at least try not to spoil anything. We've got Energy, Frostmoth, Simiseer, Farewell Bell, Smeargle, Quillfish, Tynamo, Galarian Meowth, Gossifleur, Ooh, a nice reverse hollow Zoroark, and Absol. Oops, that one fell out of my hand. Our code card was white, so that would have spoiled it, but I think I also kind of revealed the cards a little bit, so that might have spoiled it as well. Either way, though, I do like the reverse hollow Zoroark, so not a terribly bad booster, but I think the point has to go to Sylveon for that one. But we'll get right back to Sylveon with our battle styles. Now, I will be a little bit more careful and not spoil what could be in here or what could not be in here by just obscuring things a little bit better. We've got our energy, Bufalon, Urn of Vitality, Spupa, Yamper, Glammeow, Corefish, Scatterbug, Cubone looking cute. Reverse Hollow EXP share. And Tapu Bulu. It's a pretty cool looking hollow. We'll take that and set it aside and see what Charizard can do with Evolving Skies. Obviously, Evolving Skies is a favorite of a lot of people, but I don't know. I haven't really had too much luck with Evolving Skies. I know there's maybe a little bit of controversy surrounding it too, but we won't get into that here. We've got our code card, and we can get into the pack and hope for the best. I've definitely seen some good openings of Evolving Skies and some really disappointing ones. So let's hope we got a good one here with Fire Energy, Hippowdon, Single Strike Scroll of the Fanged Dragon, Floet, Cutifly, Timpole, Eevee, Woobat, C Dot, a nice reverse hollow copycat, and Melodic. So far, the Charizard box is really falling behind here. Now, both boosters there were maybe not so great, but I still think point so far goes to Sylveon, but we move into round two, which is our celebrations. We'll of course start with one from Sylveon and see what we get. Now, there's a lot that I love from celebrations. I'm still looking for more of those Pikachu cards. I'm hoping that there's some surfing Pikachu or some Pikachu VMAX or just the Chonky Boy himself. We've got our code card here and you can get started with Lugia. Always a cool one. And Ho-Oh, right behind. Perfect Generation 2. Then we've got Kyogre, Generation 3, moving on up. And finally, Mew, Generation 1, moving on back. Speaking of Mew, though, have you guys seen the new Pokemon 151 sets? They look really cool, and I am super excited for them.
Yep, this is our code card side. I don't want to spoil anything, you know? I like the reveal of flipping it over right here and getting Groudon. As well as Ho-Oh again. Ooh, another Team Magma's Groudon. I actually opened one of these back in the first video. And we've got Professor's Research. So, I don't know. Who won that one? Maybe that point goes to Charizard a little bit. But we've still got three celebrations left from both boxes. So, let's see what we can do. That pack opened really nicely. And I have this kind of stigma that packs that open really nicely are really good. Starting with Cosmo. Xerneas, Reshiram, and Here Pikachu! There he is! That was a really good pack. That opened really nicely. This is an awesome one. This is one that I really wanted, so I'll get a sleeve on him right away. And you'll see him up on the wall next week. That's definitely another great point for Sylveon. But we'll see what Charizard can do. Trying my best to obscure it a little bit as we move on. Yeah, I almost did a pack trick there, but we've got Ho-Oh again, followed by Lugia again, Rocket's Admin, that's a pretty cool looking one, and Professor's Research again. So far, Charizard's falling behind, but we get into the second to last pack for Sylveon. Slide this out. And we've got Xerneas. Lugia again, tons of Lugia. Dialga, good to see you Generation 4. And Lunala. That's a pretty cool hollow. I don't think I've ever opened a Lunala before. But we'll see if Charizard can give me more that I've never opened before. I'd also really like to see one of the Rayquazas. Those card designs are super cool. So let's see what we can get. We've got Yvettel. Let me know if I said that right or wrong. Palkia, Rocket Zapdos, that's a really cool looking one. Wow, and? Solgaleo. I like the Rocket Zapdos. I think for me that's a that's a point for Charizard. I'll put this one in a sleep. Zapdos is my favorite of the three birds, and this card's just really cool. But we'll get into our final pack for Sylveon and see if Sylveon can end on a strong note. Alright. Let's see what Sylveon can do with Groudon. Followed by Ho-Oh again, and... Ooh, another Xerneas EX to match our one back there. That is awesome. And Professor's Research. I'll put Xerneas EX in a sleeve, of course. You know, it, it is a little disappointing maybe to get a repeat card, but this is such a cool card that I think it's great to have a second one. But let's hope for no repeats in this final pack. And, you know, maybe that just means I'll have to have a giveaway where I give away one of the Xerneas EX cards. Maybe I'll have to give away some of the duplicates and extras. We can take our code card and put it aside. And we have Xerneas making another appearance. Yvettel, Zekrom, and last card, Pikachu again! <laughs> All right, Charizard recovered at the last second. That's pretty good. I always love Pikachu. I always have more space in my heart for Pikachu. But that's it. You know, it looks to me, I think we can say Sylveon comfortably won that one. But what do you guys think? We've got... What I would say, three good cards from Sylveon and two from Charizard. But, you know, regardless of which 
box one, I think the real winner is me, because now all of these amazing cards are mine. As always, though, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and like the video if you liked it. Go and check out Collectible Adventures on Twitter and Instagram as well if you want to. I hope you all have some great adventures of your own, and I'll see you next time.